cool <laughs> how do you do in this video I'm gonna teach you about ethics and why you need to maintain ethics if you want to stop missing goals missing habits uh, missing deadlines and just in general doing behavior where you can't trust yourself so let me ask you a simple simple question did you ever uh, encounter a situation in your life where you said you're gonna do something and then you ended up not doing it maybe it was an appointment that you said maybe it was some sort of a commitment that you made like uh, for example I don't know upload a video every single day something like that um, and then you didn't do it and what happened was you just completely stopped or you set up on a new diet or a new routine you stopped doing it, you know, went well for like three or four days, fantastic work. And then one day you just stop doing it and then bam, it's, it's done, it's over, not to be seen again. And maybe you thought you burnt out. Maybe you thought, you, thought, you know, maybe this is just not for me. Basically, you made some sort of a rationalization why it happened. So let me tell you a bit more about ethics. So ethics are basically... Um, the definition of ethics is anything that contributes to does the most good to you and everything that you value so let's say that you care about you know your family you know your friends your world so um, something like uh, throwing trash on the street would that be ethical of course not because it, it disturbs other people and it's just it's not nice in general so you're gonna feel uh, bad about it because it's an unethical thing and then uh, you're gonna have a few choices so one of three things is gonna happen so number one is that you're going to blame somebody so you're gonna throw it and then you're gonna say oh well you know um, that guy also did it so you know fuck it basically you kind of you try to minimize the offense uh, now the second thing you're going to do is you're going to find a way to suppress the actual offense in general so you're gonna say oh well you know it's not that bad you know the earth is dying anyway basically you make the offense either you put a blame on somebody else which makes the sorry for the noise by the way which makes the offense smaller or you put the blame on you know just externally you minimize the thing and then what you do the third thing is that you rationalize so you say well you know you think why did I do that like why would I do it and like well it's because I'm pissed off you know I'm just I'm having a bad day and then now you rationalized it like oh well I'm you know I have, I'm having a bad day so now you have to have a bad day because if you stop having a bad day it pre pretty much says that you know you're a liar <laughs> you're wrong you, you know instead of just saying oh I fucked up now this this is a huge problem because we humans we have a desire uh, not, not a desire a need to be right we always have to be right so that's why some people might even do the wrong thing and you know let me know if you know somebody like that you might be the one but you know uh, let's think about other people so let me know if you know somebody else who is not you who did something wrong and then in order to justify the reason why he did it he kept doing the wrong thing so it's like you know you're doing something wrong but because you have the position that what you're doing is right you it's more important for you to maintain that position of being right than not doing the wrong thing that's hurting you or somebody else like for example there's a kid in your school everybody's bullying him so you kick the fucker you know you give him a little kick or maybe slap the bitch and uh, and he's like uh, oh why did you do that and you don't know you're like because uh, fuck you because you know because fuck you and now uh, what happens like you and, and then you go back you know and you're like oh my god like why did why did I do that like that was so bad of me how could I do that and then next time you see the kid and again you could you have a chance to apologize but no you have to be right so next time he sees you he's like hey you're like Ugh, you know fuck you even though you're inside you're like oh my god what, what the fuck am I doing again is that mechanism where you have to sustain the the sense of being right so how do you deal with ethics okay because we're talking about success here not about you know not beating up kids at school that's not really the point although it does apply well um, it's really simple so 
let's say that you set a goal okay like every day I'm gonna do one video a day and then you know you do it for a couple of days and then on the third day fourth day fifth day doesn't matter someday you had a bad day and then you didn't do it and why didn't you do it because you had a bad day that's the rationalization again remember you either blame somebody else you blame something like the environment oh well some you know either somebody did it to you or something in the environment did it to you like oh it's a shit day whatever or and or you rationalize like you know it's because um, everybody does it anyway or you know oh well the videos are working so you made videos for a whole week and you know you knew why you were doing them and then you didn't do it once and now and then you said oh it's because they're not working anyway you rationalized not respecting your decision to do them anyway and and now in order to be right you have to stick with that rationalization so you have to to stay right so if you stay right what does that mean it means that oh well they're not working anyway so next day you're you know you want to make the videos but then the first thought that comes to your head is like oh well it's not working anyway and then you don't do it and then next day oh it's not working anyway then you don't do it and then you just stop the fucking habit so how do you fix this how do you fix this complicated issue of you know human behavior of how things you know manipulate and turn around and unclear how do you fix this <laughs> it's so simple you basically you simply acknowledge that you've done th something wrong that's it <laughs> like it's that simple <laughs> like let's say you know you have a good friend you literally just send him a message he doesn't even need to know what you what it means just say I didn't do my video today I should have done it or maybe even write down it doesn't have to be towards somebody else it could be just take a piece of paper and just write down I should have done this and, and really just really clearly find out what you did wrong and acknowledge it now the reason this makes you um, capable again is because it gives you the responsibility back so let's say that you didn't do the video and now you know about ethics you know that when you don't do something you're gonna tend to run away from it to ignore it you know to justify it and then you have to be right so it's a cycle of damage you know some people are stuck from something they thought you know when they were 20 that they did and 10 15 20 40 years later they still have to be right about that like for example one guy that knew to you know he should have opened a business but he didn't he's like oh I didn't do it because rich people are filthy and that's like the reason that's literally like the rationalization he came up with and then 40 years later he's like yeah rich people are filthy rich people are filthy rich people are filthy and like simply because he didn't acknowledge that one thing like 40 years ago was like yeah I should have opened up that business that would have been the smart choice and then BAM like it would have been it would go away like it wouldn't be so you know such a pain in the ass anymore so yeah um, ethics is really that simple so you pretty much write down just when it happened why it happened what did you do so you simply write down um, yesterday at 8 p.m. you know that doesn't have to be extremely specific but just you know yesterday at night I should have done the video and I didn't do it I just chose not to do it because I felt bad and I rationalized that it's probably because the video is not working anyway and I should have done it done so the reason this is powerful is because all of these um, things that happen to you like I said the rationalizations the blaming what happens is that you try to avoid taking responsibility so you basically lower your sense of responsibility for the situation oh that's a beautiful impala uh impala so you um you lower i know it's not a special car just in israel there's such a lack of cool cars that you know you see an average car and you're like whoa <laughs> never mind so when you try to lower the responsibility again you blame oh it's his fault Oh, it didn't matter 
you basically choose to take less responsibility for the situation and for not living up to your commitments. And then what happens is you just lost responsibility. You lost the ability to respond. So by acknowledging that you should have done it, you take back the, your responsibility. You take back your, your ability to, to, to make decisions. So you say, I should have done it. I had the ability. I should have done this. And then what happens is now you have that power of ability back. And the next day, when you need to make a video again, you're not hiding anything anymore because you faced the crime. Literally, it's an ethical crime towards yourself that you did. And now that you faced it, you have responsibility over it. So you say, I should have done it. Next time I won't do it. And then the next day comes and then you don't do it anymore. You actually do the fucking video and you're like, oh my God, yeah, it was that simple. But if you, again, if you avoid facing it, you're just going to be stuck in the blame and the responsibility thing. And then you're completely going to suppress this area of your life to deny it. And, um, you know, maybe you won't make another video for years where if you would have just stuck with the habit, then a year or two later, you would have had everything you could have wanted because, you know, doing a video a day is a pretty good habit. So this knowledge about ethics really changed my life, uh, really helped me do anything. And I'm going, you know, I'm learning it deeper and deeper. If you want to learn more about ethics, I highly recommend you check out the book uh, Introduction to Ethics by L. Ron Hubbard. That's, you know, what I taught you here is verb verbatim. It's almost, you know, almost quote, quotable uh, from the book. Uh, one of the best books I've ever read on human behavior. And um, yeah, in any way, you know, in any case, let me know if you have any more questions. And I hope this video helped you. And let me know how you're going to take this ethics video and apply it to take responsibility in your life for things that you might have, you know, slacked off on. And I'll, I'll take the opportunity and be first. I've been uh, slacking off on uh, meditation. So instead of doing 60 minutes, I've done 15 minutes, 20 minutes every day, but not the 60 that I knew I, that I know I could. Uh, again, why? Oh, I'm doing a lot anyway. Oh, I'm tired. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm taking responsibility too, and I'm going to do a 60 minute meditation today. I should have done it a long time ago. And I just realized today after a coaching call that I should have, <laughs> uh, that I need to get back to it. So, you know, there you go. Balls in your court. You have an opportunity to, to also, uh, again, you don't have to do it in front of other people. You can do it by your own, but this is just an opportunity to make sure that it happens and I can be kind of, you know, make sure that you do it properly. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I do coaching. So just send me a message and I'll help with you, your life and your business. Bye-bye.